cargo labels. So this is where um, either the customer or a cargo handler upon shipment of a piece of cargo would be able to select, for example, a voyage or an origin or a destination depending on where they're at and all the cargo for that would then print. Now notice the barcode, this is a QR code dynamically generated and it actually includes a complete URL to a running app. So it would work like this. Users would print these labels, attach them to the cargo. Upon receiving a cargo, take your smartphone and scan this and it will actually look up the particular cargo that it is. So, so you should be able to do that by um, using your smartphone and a QR reader, take a picture of that and it will actually open the app um, specifically on that cargo. Um, so that's printing. Um, handling cargo, once it looks it up, um, here we can again search by anything. Let me just grab cargo 6. There is no cargo 6. Cargo 4. thought there was maybe I got an issue here okay cargo one um, so we do a lookup on that and the handling event for a cargo handler would then add an event so let's go ahead and add an event notice it takes the current voyage it takes the cargo and we could have it default the uh, location as well I didn't do that so here we're gonna have the time we completed that and what we did was to do a transfer or whatever it was I'll go ahead and insert that and we handled that so a role of handler would be handled this way now kind of for the fun of it I added a couple of modernization features under cargo lookup check these out I can come here and say cargo lookup um, and you'll notice this requires HTML5 click the microphone so um, Bob had previously did some cargo with book so scenario is a piece of cargo comes in with a name on it um, somebody with a voice uh, enabled uh, headgear could just go like this and say books oh my problem screwed that up one more time book Ah, a little flaky. One more time. Books. Ah, there we go. And there we find uh, Bob's old books from his from his uh, cargo. So let's look up by voice. Um, some other folks in a discussion were also talking about with Google Autocomplete. So if I'm going to um, want to look up a particular cargo by, by the name of it, um, I'm going to just start typing book. Notice how it found that. Um, this is autocomplete. So if I do an auto, it finds basically anything in there and auto-completes it using kind of what they call uh, type ahead um, or auto autocomplete. So then if I take auto-transferring, Get rid of that. And I'm going to take book, maybe fruit. Here's no fruit. Uh, there's F15 fighters. That's good. And we found those. So that's this segment.